Assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. I want to talk to you about grounding or earthing, sajda, and just being grateful and thankful for us having this in our deen. Now I want to start off with grounding or what's called earthing. The concept is that when we're literally in touch with the earth, we absorb electrons that help neutralize the free radicals in our body that damage our cells. Earthing's proponents say this grounding can reduce inflammation, pain, and stress. If you're grounded, your blood is flowing as long as you stay grounded. And it also thins the blood, so you're less likely to have a heart attack and a stroke. Mm -hmm. and in fact, it thins the blood so much that if you're taking a blood thinner, you have to lower the dose. Sure. That's the power of grounding. Grounding is so critical for your brain. It causes instantaneous changes in your left feet, uh, left brain too, right? It, it's where the right brain, what's going on there? That's the creative side. The left brain, that's the analytical side. As soon as you ground yourself, your left brain goes, ooh, powers down. Right brain doesn't change, but your left brain does. It helps enhance circulation. So with increased circulation, now you have more energy, you have more nutrients, you're carrying away more wastes. So that has a tremendous positive effect on the body. Improved sleep is another major benefit, according to the earthing research. Nowadays, they're finding out that connecting your body to the earth, many people are doing this now by walking look look just barefoot just connecting your your body to the earth releases these electrostatic charges that develop in the body and this can also cause headaches neck aches muscle spasms and new research is showing that a lot of good science to point out people who ground sleep better have lower inflammation and feel better throughout the day they have a better mood just by grounding or earthing you can release these electrostatic charges this is amazing because we do this five times a day in salat <laughs> We take our forehead and we ground ourselves. We ground ourselves in sajda, in salat. And we know that the Prophet Muhammad, last and final message, peace and blessings be upon him, he told us that the closest a person is to his Creator is in prostration.